Det är inte bara kinesiska bilar som finns här på massan, utan också andra kinesiska företag. Till exempel som det här Autel eh, Lab infrastruktur helt enkelt. Eh, so, thanks for having us and please introduce yourself and what you are doing. Yeah. Hello, uh, my name is Ting Tai. I'm CEO of Autel Europe. Yeah. And actually, you know, we are a solution provider like for the EV charger solution yes. of Autel. And uh, we have quite good good, how to say, the localization footprint in the whole Europe. And actually, you know, I want to spend a little bit of time like to introduce about the Autel history. Yes. yes. Actually, you know, Autel, we are originated as providing a solution for the auto aftermarket, okay. for the diagnostic tools, ah. and also ADAS calibration tools, and also like TPM and sensors. But you know, since the, since the middle of last year, our company started transformation. Like we step into this EV charger business, Yes, and you know, based on the good fundamental we have been set up in the Europe, and then we provide, you can see this time, we provide the end-to-end -end EV charger solutions from the compact AC charger, like to the business commercial AC charger, and also with our DC charger, the fast DC charger, 120 kilowatt, and also 240 kilowatt, and also our DC wall box chargers, and it will give the whole solution to our customer for the EV charger solution. But you are larger in Europe than China. Uh, actually, like this, uh, we are a very European localized Chinese company. Yes. Auto is from China. Our headquarters is based in Shenzhen. Yes. Our company was founded mm -hmm. in 2004. And actually, our biggest overseas market is in US. In the okay. US. Okay. US is five times bigger than our European market. But still, our European team, we have also <coughs> very good local presence here. Yes. For a second, to tell you something more. You know, our regional headquarters is located in Germany, in Munich. Ah. Yes. Because you know all the like the OEs, the BMW, yes. Mercedes, they are located in Germany, and also we have our office in Italian Venice, and also in Netherlands Den Haag, also France La France, and uh, also we have our office in UK as well, and our Nordic regional center is in Sweden, in Stockholm. That where our office is located on. So, so is it easier for you to expand in the overseas market than expand in China? Now, actually, you know, like go back to the history development in. Europe, actually, we already more, spend more than decades development okay. in the whole Europe. Yes, our first location is starting from Germany, Düsseldorf, and it was almost more than decades before. And then we gradually, gradually have our our own very large local footprint in the whole Europe. Yes. So now you're coming to Sweden, for example, also, and you will start to sell these chargers. Uh, actually, you know, for the EV charger solution, we already have some partners in the Nordic, ah. yeah, and even application cases and a reference. Like in the Denmark, we already, we already deployed our DC fast charger in Denmark with the energy company. And also this time you can visit also our partner in, in Sweden, name is E-Waze. Ah, e -Waze is very e famous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. e -Waze is also using our DC charger. Okay. Yes. So that's why we already have some footprint and the distributor cooperation in the Nordic, but that is still in the starting point. And we want to find more reliable partner and to provide the good solution because we want to do some contribution for the carbon detection. Okay. Yes. yes, everybody does that, and that's great. Yes. And uh, but, but what is your strongest point? Why should uh, the energy uh, company choose you instead of other good charger? Question. Good question. I want to talk about some, uh, some points as our highlight. First, about the green concept. This is something very important. I can say 100% of our manufactured energy is green energy, uh -huh. and 100% of our manufacturer raw material is recyclable material. Okay. This is also important. Okay, yes. And also all the charges we produce, we have the carbon footprint information. And also we have the, this kind of international certification. Okay. Besides of that, every charger we sell, we will plant a tree in China desert. Yeah. So this is something we always keep in our mind. Yes. And this is number one, green concept. Number two, good quality of the product. Yeah. I mean, top quality of the product. If we're looking at auto, how to say, like our diagnostic tools, ADAS calibration tools, really I have to say it's top quality. Even we get this kind of compliment from our European customer, and also we apply the same standard to our charger product. So that's why you can see we have all these kind of charger which is open. You can see clearly of the internal wiring and the chips which we use, and also for the DC charger as well. And the comment from customer said, okay, it's piece of art. Looks amazing. Okay. Good of product. 
Third thing is stable supply. Ah. This is quite ah. important. That's important. We have three manufacturing centers globally. Okay. One is in China, Shenzhen. Also another one in Asia Pacific, in Vietnam. Also we have a third one in US, which is close to the border of Mexico. And then we can guarantee the stable supply of our charger solution to our end users. So how long is the waiting time if I... Good question. You know, what, you know, it's, I share a very interesting story. E-Waste order our charger in the last Monday and they get in Friday. <laughs> That's quick. That's quick. How we achieve that? Because so that, you have a supply here. In your, you are right. Yeah. We have three local warehouse based in, how to say, located in the Europe. One is in Netherlands, Rotterdam. And this is serving the area of Western Europe and also Nordic area. We have also local warehouse in Italy, that is in Venice, that is serving the Southern Europe and also Central Europe. Also, we have our UK office and also UK local warehouse. This is serving my UK customer. Then, we always keep the safe stock of our AC charger and the DC charger. This can guarantee the quicker delivery time to my customer. That's so that's it, why that's... I told my customer, if you give me the order on Monday, <laughs> you're getting Friday. That's Amazing good. delivery time. That's good. Yes. The fourth one I want to emphasize is for the local support. We give super high efficiency response to our customer. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, we have a lot of local offices. And in each office, I will have my project manager and also technical supporting guys. Different European, different countries, they speak different languages. I have the staff, they have the know-how knowledge and they speak different languages. In the first time, we give the quick response to our customer when they have the problem. And also, we give a lot of trainings to our partners. This also is in order to give better services and a quick response to our customer as well. Yes. So what about the, the how to pay for the charging? What sort of solutions do you provide uh, there? Then we make, how to say, actually all the possibilities make it quite card, easy. Card, risk yeah. card. You can see on our DC charger, like yeah. we have the, we install the port machine on our charger. You can use your credit card to do the payment and also you can use RFID card to trigger the payment and also you can realize with the scan of the QR code okay. to do the payment. Even you can use your credit card bonding in, inside of the apps mm -hmm. and to do the payment. Yeah. Actually, we give all the possibilities to our end user okay. to do the payment. Let them to feel easy to use. Okay. And yes. plug-in charge, will that be possible? Yes, this is a good question. For the plug charge and for our new generation of the DC product, for sure it supports the plug-in charge and also for the plug-in charge, we already integrate with, I think the platform is a uh, Hubject. Hubject is a European Fan Europe, how to say, platform, which can guarantee the roaming of the charges. So we already did the phase one and the phase two integration with Hubject. So this can make your right plug charge realize and also to make the experience, how to say, good for the customer. So when do you think most of the car can do plug-in charge? Or this is a good question. I think this will be rely on the OEs. Yeah. I think the speed, maybe it will take two or three or even more time. Two or three you know, years? Yes, it will take time. Because, you know, due to the economic crisis, even the OEs, the capacity of the manufacturer, the cars, they're lagging behind a lot. Yes, it will take a little bit of time. But anyhow, this will happen. Because only when the plug-in charge happens, the experience can be guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Just like the traditional, you use like the gas line in the gas station, yeah. you're charging your... Charging, yeah. So what about, uh, there's often a problem to get enough uh, current to the charging uh, venues, places. Uh, so it takes a lot of time to get the permit to build a place oh, yes. and all these things. Uh, so what can you do to um, minimize uh, the um, s impact on the net? On the well, it's a very challenging question because, you know, we are a charge solution provider. But you know, we always will cooperate with our partner to, to fulfill the, like, the site deployment. They need to do some preparation in advance. But this is a little bit out of our control. Yes, but we can do that, we can minimize the on-site delivery time. Because you know, ah. like every DC charger, when we send to the customer, we will do the pre-commission. That means customer in advance tell us the condition of the site. Yeah. And then we will set the pre-configuration on the chargers and then the experience for our customer to deploy it that we ship the charger on site, it powered on, and set the default configuration, then everything goes working fine. So, yes. do you think uh, there will be battery um, uh, supply? I mean, 
at the charging place and you have a lot of batteries Good question. Good question. and then you can use uh, not so much uh, problem with the net and so on. Yes, so that's why you're looking at this one. Ah. This is our hypercharger. Okay. Because you know, inside of this hypercharger, we are not only providing the power module inside of it, we will put the battery inside of it as well. You are totally right, you know, due to some condition limitation on the grid. Yeah. It's not every place you can always enjoy the full power of no, the grid. No. Yeah. So that's why. But this hypercharger will launch in the next year, Q2. Yeah. So we will put the battery inside of it. How much and, battery will you have inside? Uh, we will expect us, I think it's around 360 kilowatt hours. Uh -huh. This is the capacity we plan. Yeah. We plan. Yeah. I think it will be enough on the side to give the fast charge solutions. So how many cars do you think you can supply with that? With not, uh, not so It's like this. Actually, based on the capacity rate. of this hypercharger, yeah. we can have almost uh, up to eight satellite guns. Okay. Eight satellite guns okay. to do the charging simultaneously. Simultaneously, yeah. Uh, 100 kilowatts or how much will the, the eight? Uh, this one capacity we design is 640 kilowatt. Uh -huh. If you divide yeah, yeah. eight, okay. it's eight yeah. kilowatt. Uh, 80 kilowatt. Yes. Okay, I understand. Yes, yeah. So that is, you think that will be more common in the future well, with yes, the battery definitely. stacks? Definitely. Yeah. Because always people want the charging experience short and quick. Yes. And also easy to use. So that's why I think, also I think from, from the EU perspective, they invest a lot on the grid renovation. Yeah. They try to yes. make the grid condition better. And then with these hypercharger solutions, for sure, time of the charging will be shorter, mm -hmm. experience will be better. Is there something that uh, the charging companies are doing in China that is better than is done in Europe? Uh, it's a difficult question because you know I, I think it's always kind of mutual learning. Yes. And uh, European companies learn from China suppliers. China suppliers also learn from Europe. So what I does what does the, the European learn from China then? <laughs> I think it's more efficient and the build, I think it's more in the how do you say manufacturing perspective to manufacture things in more efficient way. Okay. This is always we're chasing. We try uh -huh. to optimize this how to say like the procedures and the manufacture in a very good cost way. Yes, okay. yes. So you are more efficient in building the, the, these yes. things? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what about uh, home charging? Do you see any new tendencies there or what uh, will come there in uh, some years? Home charging actually, it's quite, it's quite clear that oh, people want to use home charger as uh, like an electrical appliance, just like a Zawa machine, just like the washing machine, something like easy to use. Then, the most, because you know, when we have some difficulties feeding back from the customer that they have problem with the installation, they have problem with if the, for, the charger becomes faulty, how we repair that, then that's why if you're looking at our AC compact charger, it is super easy for installation. It has the main body and the back plate separate. First, you, you just install the back plate and then you just plug with a click, the charger installed. Okay. Super easy, super fast, and when some faulty happened on this charger, you just take out the charger main body, and we just send the new one. Customer can change it by themselves. Yeah. Okay. So this makes the whole user experience much much easier. Mm -hmm. So that's why for the home charger, always smart. Smart means you can control by the apps. Yes. You can see what is happening. Another is easy to install, easy to replace. Another trend we see that home charger always will go with the energy storage system. In the home. Uh -huh. You think so? This is kind of a merge, yes. Because you know, that's why this time we bring our product for the energy storage for the residential user. Yeah. Then how I mean, much kilowatts do you have for uh, that? Actually, it's, how do you say, expandable. Each one okay. is five kilowatt hour. Okay. You can easily cascade like yeah. to maximum to six pieces. Uh -huh. Six pieces. And, you know, we want to use a unified apps to control the charger and also the energy storage. Yes. This is going to be also a benefit for the end user. They can have the full visibility of that. So this is some training which we have seen. Smart, easy to use, and also home energy storage. Convergence. And vehicle to grid then? Uh, V2G, yes. Also, you know, for the V2G, we already have the V2G product. Uh -huh. But first, we launch in the US. Okay. Because you know what? US, one big country, one <laughs> language. <laughs> OK. This is easy. Yeah. yeah. For the Europe, you know, the language is not unified. And I think also from the uh, legislation, yeah. it's not, how to say, totally confirmed. Mm -hmm. And also for the OEs. And uh, V2G for sure is a train. And also I think one day, just like it will take three or more years to make this mature. It's not something related to the technical. And you know, we have a joke with my customer, said, okay, why V2G cannot be so quick realized in Europe? 
then my answer is that because there's no insurance company insured for that. Because mm -hmm. you know, if something happened, when you use the VGG function, yeah. some fire happened, some accident happened, who's the responsibility? The insurance first need to insure this function. So this is nothing re related to the technical, I think more related to the registration. Okay. Yes. So there's problems with the insurance and with legislation. Uh, and they need so, to be yeah. specific. Yes. Who's responsible if something happens? Yes. And how yes. to put in uh, yes. electricity to the grid or the right. vehicle to whom? Is another story. Uh, actually, it's similar. Vehicle uh, V2G. Uh, actually, it's a V2X. Yeah, X. X can be grid. X can be home. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, solar. Yeah. So that's why you can see our uh, energy storage system. That yeah. is our inverter. Okay. Actually, you know, this one can be integrated with the solar panel. Okay. Yes, and also the charger and also the ESS. So then they are like one unibody, unified solution. But actually, Altair, we don't provide the solar panel solution. Yeah. You don't? Yeah, we don't. We don't. No. Yeah, we don't. It's not in our scope. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But it's a hybrid, uh, hybrid inverter can be integrated with a solar panel. Yeah. No any problem. Okay. Yeah. So is there anything else you would like to talk about? Because uh, uh, you know, actually, uh, out here we are quite happy we can participate in this e-car exhibition. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we want to take this opportunity to let more customers to, to know about our first green concept and to familiar with our product, to see the quality of our product and to feel it's quite easy to use. And also we're looking for some more business partners in talking with us and we make the contribution on the carbon deduction. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Pleasure Thank to you. meet you. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.